to give you some summer skincare tips. So tip number one. Tip number one is identify your skin type. So please go to my post and uh, see what skin type you have because yes, summer skincare is going to follow some general rules, but you do need to know your skin type. So it's oily, dry, sensitive, pigmented, what kind of skin type do you have? And that's where you're going to begin the foundation for your summer skincare. So please identify that. And that's tip number one. Now tip number two is a cardinal rule, light. So summer is full of light and sun. Also, it means that you need to go light on your skincare. You don't want occlusives. You don't want heavy substances like Vaseline and all those occlusive substances. You don't want ingredients that are going to clog pores. You need to keep everything open and light and airy. So that is tip number two. Everything is light. So regardless of what skin type you have, you need to cleanse in summer because summer means also um, a lot of dust, a lot of pollution. So summer brings a lot of pollen, a lot of allergies. So you do need to, do need to cleanse. You don't need to do harsh cleansing. I'm not in favor of harsh cleansing. Uh, you, you can try a, a nice Neutrogena PHA cleanser. That's a very light one. It's not going to sting. It's going to help with the, with the oil reduction and with shininess. So a PHA or a salicylic cleanser, preferably with some Sika added. Sika is Centella Asiatica. So a cleanser in the morning, a light cleanser, a nice uh, Sika cleanser. At night, you can use a PHA salicylic acid cleanser. Uh, and of course, you must remove your makeup. That is very important. So a cleansing light cleansing in the summertime is quite important to keep your pores and your clogs and everything nice and open now someone asked me about scrubbing they said that somebody has told us that we have to scrub our skin on a daily basis i don't know who has said that anybody who who gives you that tip is doesn't know what they're talking about please do not scrub your skin daily your scrub are not pots and pans they're not kitchen appliances. They are your skin. So you cannot scrub, scrub your skin. A scrub is something you should not do. Now, then you're going to ask me that how will I exfoliate? There's so many ways to exfoliate, but it's not a scrub. Scrubs, no. You are going to use a cognac sponge. Now, a cognac sponge is, is, is a kind of a, a root found in certain parts of the world. And when you dry it out, it forms like this little... Uh, sponge type thing so a cognac sponge very light facial sponges are what i really love and i've used them all my life so a light sponge circular motion is just a dab a little bit of cleanser and cleanse your face and it'll massage your face as well and it's going to bring up that glow so a nice soft facial sponge is quite nice exfoliation in the form of physical exfoliation is something i don't really like so then you are going to shift into acid exfoliation skin of color it's quite tricky so you're going to go to really really mild acids or enzyme exfoliation and enzyme exfoliation is milder it's milder don't use a lot of it put a little bit on the on your facial sponge just lightly do that at night and this is going to remove the deep makeup it's going to remove a lot of the excess oil and all of the pollution and grime so that is a really good trick in the summer to use light exfoliative really light cognac type sponges and that's really going to uh, take care of the exfoliation but do not use a hard scrub with pieces of um, nuts and and seeds and whatnot this really don't do that that's a really bad practice and never every single day if you want to scrub every single day then a cognac sponge is fine otherwise if you want to exfoliate once a week with so now that your summer cleansing is done so you've cleansed you've used a mild acid or a mild enzyme peel or just a simple if you have sensitive skin a mild cetaphil cleanser you've done all of that use a cetaphil cleanser your face is a nice clean canvas what are you going to apply in the summer i will really advise you to apply just one thing that's going to be vitamin c so a stabilized or a good quality vitamin c applied am and pm at both times is absolutely important for the summer why am i stressing up on vitamin c because vitamin c is an is the most powerful antioxidant found in nature number one the most clinical studies have been done with ascorbic acid and vitamin c so we are going to stick to the gold standards here but the most important point is that it is photoprotective vitamin c is a natural photoprotector it's going to 
help you with the sunburn cells it's going to help you with sun damage all the damage that's happening from the environment on your skin vitamin c is going to take care of it so what else can you add to your uh, vitamin c so if you want you can have a vitamin c uh, morning and night you can apply some serum in the morning and night and it can be also mixed with hyaluronic acid and some sika and maybe some peptides so these are things that are beautiful for summer because they're all light so they're water soluble and they're light so you have a nice water soluble ascorbic acid with that you have some sika you have some peptides uh, that are also quite water soluble so you have some peptides and you have hyaluronic acid so you're having all these lovely hydrators in the summer so light hydration these are beautiful so if you have a nice hyaluronic acid serum with some sika with some um, some soothers like aloe vera beautiful peptides are important at night so you can apply these serums in summer and this it's not going to cause any problems with oily skin with clogging anything so just use light hydration and all the serums that i've mentioned then we come to moisturizers moisturizers we're going to go way light we're going to go almost therapeutic light so we're not going to have occlusive creams you're not going to have thick um a paraffin uh, paraffin and wax based creams you're not going to have any of that we are although going to have light gel creams so either gels or gel creams in the summer i would suggest you take your gel or your gel cream whatever you like keep it in the fridge that way when you apply your cream first of all it's going to prolong the shelf life of your cream and secondly when you apply it on a hot day so when you apply the cold cold the gel or the cream it's going to result in a nice soothing effect a cooling effect and also it's going to reduce the sunburn and the, any damage that has happened because of the intense intensity of the heat so a nice beautiful cooling gel cream or gel in the summertime an additional step that you can add is a mist so an aloe vera um, a rice water mist a coconut water mist a sika mist these are beautiful soothing ingredients if you can get a mist um, even with a rose hydrosol not rose essential oil rose hydrosol so water distillates of rose you can apply that mist so cleanse your face apply uh, apply um, that mist because it's going to be nice and water soluble or you can actually apply the serum first and then the mist then we come to the sunscreen never 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 skip your sunscreen apply wash your face apply your vitamin c in the morning and apply your sunscreen summer sunscreens are going to be really light they're going to be hydrating they're going to be cooling they're going to be non-pore clogging they're going to be mineral no chemical sunscreens mineral sunscreens are preferable in the summertime uh, uh, then you are going to also if you like use a ton tinted sunscreen so that's going to uh, you know um, obliterate uh, the the use the need for a foundation so your sunscreen can also be your foundation so a tinted sunscreen is fine as long as it has the correct spf value so 30 plus so a nice tinted sunscreen um, a sheer sunscreen a light sunscreen is going to be beautiful apply that please look at my video on sunscreen application and all the other things that i've talked about as far as sunscreens are concerned so the sunscreen is going to be your am routine and now you're done with your am routine at night at night you're going to remove all traces of makeup please because a lot of the makeup is phototoxic a lot of it is causes allergic contact dermatitis if you leave it on then if you just leave your makeup on a lot of people just leave their makeup on go to sleep and they just refresh it in the morning and they go to work please don't do that because a lot of the makeup is going to react with the harsh sunlight um, along with the humidity levels and the environment and it's going to create really toxic byproducts so remove all makeup in the summertime especially eye makeup you need to remove that you need to cleanse your face as i've mentioned with whatever preferable method that you like then you're going to apply your vitamin c again now at night you have the option of using an anti-ager um, a corrective so a, br a brightener so a corrective uh, pigment correction um, azelic acid or niacin anything you want to use so evening you can really just stick to whatever you are using the only thing i would suggest is don't use heavy creams at night especially in summertime so once again we're going to shift to the gel cream format so a gel a light gel water-based gel is going to really help you um, even at night you want to keep your skin as light and free as possible during the summer 
All right, my beautiful friends, the last tip that I'm going to give you is that please, please, please try to avoid harsh peeling uh, procedures, microdermabrasion, anything harsh that is going to go, be going on in the summertime, don't do it. Keep it for winter. Trust me, this may sound a bit harsh, but it's very, very effective. Don't go for invasive procedures cosmetic procedures I'm talking about. So cosmetic invasive procedures or even procedures that are going to increase the risk of hyperpigmentation or any kind of burn. You don't want that in the summer. So along coupled with the high heat, the high UVR, you don't want to do. So please postpone these procedures for winter time, not for the summer. So no peeling, no microdermabrasions, nothing invasive in the summer. That's a tip that I want you to uh, really remember. So these were my summer skincare tips. I hope they help. Um, they're general tips. And of course, uh, my reel also has a write-up. So go to my reel. It's fun. It's got some music and it's got my summer skincare tips on there. Enjoy that. And I hope to see you guys soon. Another busy month coming, but I'll try to post uh, as many topics as I can when I can. And until then, uh, enjoy my YouTube videos, my highlights and my posts. Love you guys all. Thank you.